trying to be last on because if you're last on you just pick whatever seat you can rather than if you get assigned a middle seat sometimes works and sometimes doesn't today, today is Thursday the 9th of May and I'm currently in Gdansk with the wife and the uh, the outlaws and we're about to head to Warsaw uh, do a bit of sightseeing around there and then head off to the Speedway Grand Prix on the Saturday always been a big fan of Speedway since I was a teenager it's a sport that's in decline in the UK but still popular in Poland and we're going to a world championship event um, a bit like a Formula 1 Grand Prix they have uh, several a year and we'll see uh, see how the Brits get on there's three Brits in there but I'll tell you more about that when we uh, when we get there so yeah join us for a couple of days in Warsaw we are going on a trip yeah yeah and, and the children are in the back yeah. <laughs> are we there yet <laughs> I don't know if Poland has a less population density than England, but we're currently on the main road between Gdansk and uh, Warsaw, and it's a dual carriageway. And you know, ima imagine if this was the M1 between Birmingham and London, say, uh, in the middle of a work day. It's so much quieter to drive on the intercity roads than it is in England. Yeah, just a, a, an observation. Stopped at a service station. An excellent time to pick up my favourite drink in the world, cappuccino. From the McDonald's franchise. Found them, find them everywhere. Now the cows love living next to the motorway. And the plan while we are here is to park on the outskirts and uber to our apartment which is closer to the centre this parking obviously sitting in a capital city is a blooming nightmare so we just arrived at the airbnb um, it's okay at first glance, we'll go and have a, have a deep lang, have a look round. Uh, only been here a few minutes, everybody's just getting settled in. So, so here we have the kitchen and everybody's getting unpacked. A few bits and bobs going down the corridor. Some very 1960s Pictures, Yoko Ono, first bedroom, I've just got a four poster bed, hope I don't kick my, kick my legs on those uh, on posts, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not so sure about the wallpaper in the background. <laughs> There's a courtyard there. Plenty of sockets at least, you know. Don't it reminds me of uh, this 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 partition here on the bedroom? I don't know, it reminds me of some medieval English castle or something, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, living room. Yeah, decent sized living room. Should be alright to sit on, a, on an evening if we're not here, if we're in. Yeah. Brick in the background. And the final bedroom. Should be adequate for our purposes this weekend. Although Andy's a bit disappointed with the uh, shower because it, it, it looked like it had a, on the pictures on the Airbnb, it had like a glass partition here and uh, and a proper shower but that's not the case well, there we go so we found somewhere to eat so uh, I planted a steak for my birthday and I never got one so now I'm gonna make it to quick and I have a steak huh? yeah. Yeah. Sure. 
flowers as well. Yeah. What's yours? Uh, duck. Duck. Frutti di mare, seafood. Carbonara or something? No, spag ball. Spag ball. Over there. Oh, yeah. Behind me is pretty, uh, pretty famous building in Warsaw. The uh, Palace of Culture, uh, built in 1955. Uh, quite impressive stats for quite an old building. Um, was once the highest building in Poland, uh, not anymore, but uh, it's still the sixth highest building in the EU and uh, that was up till recently the highest clock tower in the world. Um, but yeah, quite a distinctive building. You'll have seen it, I'm sure, on many, uh, many pictures when from Warsaw. Viewing, we are on the viewing terrace in the uh, the Palace of Culture. And we'll have a look, see what we can see. We can see the stadium where we're going tomorrow. Well, sorry, on Saturday. Oh, the, uh, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Don't badge your mum out of the way. <laughs> I don't know if you can see on the camera, but if you look into the distance there, it's uh, on the horizon. You can see nothing but uh, forest. It almost looks like a, you know a city has sprung up in the middle of a forest. Quite a lot of skyscrapers from uh, this side. Uh, my wife informs me that uh, the tallest building in Europe is being constructed as we speak and should be finished uh, this next year so we'll see what it's like I'm sure we'll come to Warsaw again next year some type of uh, protest going on today I think oh, I think it might be the farmers protest but which we saw in Gdansk actually yeah, I didn't know how we were there um, but yeah plenty of Polish flags on display I'll show, I will show you We are going to the park. Will we see red squirrels? We will see. Coming back now. Come, little red squirrel. You got any nuts? No, 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 Gonna scare it. <laughs> oh, yeah, was it recognizing you? 
Oh no, yeah, oh yeah, it's coming. Oh look how Hello. The uh, Airbnb hasn't been as great this time. A few problems. For one, there's no heating. So we got a couple of days it's been quite cold, uh, but the radiators don't work. Um, so yeah, Anya's uh, and uh, and her mum have suffered a little bit with that, but uh, I haven't been too bad. But uh, I think men cope with the cold a little bit better. But the this is the tap in the kitchen. Uh, this is the maximum stream on, on, on cold <laughs> and if you want hot water, uh, it doesn't work at all. <laughs> you have to be uh, about eight feet tall to, to use the oven. <laughs> uh. So we just had some visitors uh, <laughs> and use uh, Cousin and family. So we got Anya and. Oh. <laughs> Is it in today? Um, before we head off. Pije dronkę z jego na Very famous supermarket in Poland, throughout the area. It may, its name means Ladybird. Pije dronkę. We are currently in the newest old town in the world, uh, Warsaw. Uh, the newest old town because, as you probably know from history in World War II, what the Warsaw was completely flattened uh, during the Warsaw Uprising. So um, it was rebuilt as it was originally, uh, just after the war. Uh, so that's why it's the newest old town in the world. It's a shame, but we did not have much time in to take any video in old town at all. Uh, this trip has been, um, yeah, we've run out of time to do what we wanted to do. We're not, not here for, only, we've only been here for a couple of days. It's uh, limited things a little bit, but maybe next year. This is an annual pilgrimage to Warsaw after all. Here we have the National Polish Stadium in Warsaw and this is where the home of the Speedway Grand Prix of Poland will be this evening. Uh, it's, not, it's a custom made track, uh, they, make, they make the track just for this weekend and it's part of the uh, World Championship. Uh, quite a nice stadium inside from memory, it serves nice. I'm sure I will show you. Just going the bridge over the river look. A nice boat tour, we even have a tropical island in the middle of it. A nice son to be. <laughs> well, we think somebody must have deposited a large amount of sand there because that doesn't look like a natural formation to me. But, uh, yeah, what? Some vintage machinery. Speedway bikes with the upright engines from when uh, me and Johnny used to watch it on the side. I wonder if they have any water or not.
Jason Doyle of Australia, second uh, Bartosz Marshwick of Poland, and third Robert Lambert of England. The great it's British hope now that Ty Woofinen seems to be past his best. Good meeting. Um, Bartosz didn't seem like his normal self, he, he, was, he seemed more vulnerable, but yeah, enjoyed it. I started watching Speedway probably when I was a teenager. Uh, it was actually uh, Johnny Burkhead who um, persuaded me to go for the first time, probably when I was in my late teens. And we used to go watch the Bradford Dukes and uh, Gary Havelock uh, uh, and so forth. And ever since then, I followed Speedway. Not, this, not as much at club level once I moved away, but I've always followed the world championships and I try to get as many of them as I can per year now that I've got time and retired. Um, next one will be Torren at the end of the year for the final one so yeah I look forward to that.